Hey guys, welcome back to Detroit Become Human, and let's continue. Ten twenty-five a.m. It's still raining. Do androids sleep? Change appearance, cut hair, find new clothes. But we promised to not leave her. Why are we leaving her? Check the neighborhood. It's a crowbar. Can't take it. Death to androids. Oh, that's hot. Oh god, it's a dead android. Well. That, uh... Scary. What's in the trunk? Maybe we need that crowbar. Wow, look at that. Found a crowbar. Found something useful right at the start. I'm so proud of myself. Let's get that crowbar. Let's pop this trunk open and totally not wake the sleeping child inside the car. <laughs> Come on. Open. Huh! Oh, sweet. A coat. I found human clothes. Now I need to cut my hair. With the crowbar! No. Um, I need, like... Scissors, a knife, hedge clippers. Wonder what's in here. Well, oh. scissors. Nice. All right. You need to take your hair out of the bun. Oh, no, we just cut the bun off. Fuck it. Oh. Accessing AX400 options. Select new hair color. Let's go... White. What's black look like? Black looks pretty cool. Blonde? I don't like blonde. It's either going to be black or white. Let's let's look at them again. That's black. Oh wait, I didn't want brown. Fuck. White. white. I think I'm going with white. Oh, I get to remove it. Is that how they control the androids? Okay. So what do I gotta do now? Check the neighborhood. Okay.
But I still have the same kind of pants. That might be a problem. It's pretty busy out there. Police patrolling the area. Okay. Can I go in here? No. What's that? It's a book! Alright, so Cyber Wildlife, the first Android Zoo opens. Nice. Canada. Canada still Android free. <laughs> Where the air is clean and the welcome is always warm. Discover the landscape. Discover the wild. Discover Canada. Oh Canada. Uh, despite the United States voting in its Android Act as early as 2028, the Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit Androids in the country. As a result, Androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. Wow. With Androids continuing to fuel unprecedented growth in the U.S. economy, yet contributing to record levels of unemployment, the arguments for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on, but for the time being, Canada remains an Android-free zone. Interesting. So Canada doesn't have Androids. People are fucking Androids, which does not surprise me. Um, but Android animals, that is very interesting, honestly. I would not have guessed that. Okay, so there's an alleyway over there. Am I allowed to check this dead android out? No. Not at all. Oh, I can go in. Okay. Wakey, wakey. Let's get food somehow. Wake up, Ellis. Wake up, Ellis. It wasn't a nightmare. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. How do you feel? I'm cold. What are we gonna do now? Oh boy. That android we saw yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. All right. You're pretty like that. Thank you. You really look like a human now. You're pretty always, Alice. I like you. Please don't die. Can, we, can I throw you over the fence? <laughs> As I say, don't die. Here, let me throw you over the fence. Alright, so we have to figure out how the fuck to get out of here. Cop's not there anymore. The police are on our trail. Alright, that's all for now. Shit. Pretty go. got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? Hmm. I have no idea. Man. Oh, now we're switching. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Oh, this one did. 
They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. I hate how scarily accurate he is on guessing everything. Alright, so we gotta go to the train station. Danger levels rising that way to sneak past the cops. Threats in your destination. Okay. Oh. Hide. That way. There's a cop there, R1. Okay, keep going. Switching, switching, switching. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Shit, that's them. Oh shit! Quick, I wasn't aware what I was doing. We saw them headed for the train station. I thought she was taking a weapon. Oh god. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Chasing someone I don't wanna chase. Yeah, breaking all the rules. Stop them, though. Don't shoot. We need it alive. Oh, God, danger, danger. Oh, shit. Da -da -da -da! Woo! Uh, <gasps> oh shit! Go! Hey, where are you going? I can't let them get away. They won't. They'll never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Oh hey, man! You oh man! Get yourself killed. Do not go after him, Connor. That's an order. All right. Fucking more, they're probably traveling 300 miles per hour. Are you okay? Well then, <laughs> on the run. So, what caught me off guard, I will say this, one thing that I am having an issue with, is that the right analog stick rotates the camera around, but the right analog stick also controls all of the analog events. So, 
in that instance, when I was trying to just look around, she picked up the umbrella because I was, like, activating that, I guess. I don't even know how to properly explain how it happened. But while I was trying to use the camera to look around, I picked up the umbrella, didn't know what I was doing, thought it was a weapon, and then put it down and got caught. So there was a different way I could have done that. But, uh... Yeah, so I have to really pay attention and use R1 instead of the right analog stick, but... Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have... Oh, Marcus. Hello. Interesting. Ferndale. Hmm. Okay. Look for the graffiti. It's right here. They missed you. Did you spare some change? I don't have any. <laughs> There's a book! Android on the run. Runaway machine causes panic in Camden. With miles of unspoiled nature, Canada is the true land of the free. Um... Residents of the Detroit suburb of Camden were witness to a thrilling chase today after a police manhunt, including roadblocks and dozens of police interviews, flushed out a felony fugitive. But this is a fugitive with a difference. The suspect is an android. The rogue AX400 model is thought to be suffering from an extremely rare malfunction and took extreme measures to avoid police, even dashing across a busy highway to avoid pursuing officers. Eyewitness statements are inconclusive, and with no official report, it's impossible to say for sure what really happened. But local news correspondents are looking into the case at this very moment. No CyberLife spokesperson was available for comment, and the speculation looks set to continue. Android astronauts to explore I.O. Hackers target solar panels for the latest ransom scam. Five android crew to explore one of Jupiter's satellites. Oh, that's cool. See, there are so many really good, cool things that androids could be utilized for. And then there's kidnapping and murder and other evil things that shouldn't be... Oh, okay. Can't go that way. All right. It's right here. Okay. So I guess I have to look at my hand and then look at the graffiti. I found the graffiti. It's right here. Oh. Analyze the symbol. There we go. Clue updated. Find this graffiti. What is that graffiti? It's a lion head. Blend with the humans. Okay. No? 
Oh, oh, go. <laughs> I am human. <laughs> Please ignore me. <laughs> okay, so I need a lion. Right over there. Do you know where Jericho is? No. Talk to you? Can I talk to anybody else here? Are you really going to get rid of Mandy? Grandma says it leaves her with nothing to do, sweetie. But she's so cool. Oh man. There's that symbol again. There's one, two. So, where is this? By barbed wire. Barbed wire. You about that artist from Oh. Don't talk about my dad. Okay. Is that barbed wire? There's some barbed wire. No painting on the side of the building over here. Must be the other side of it or something. Or here? Right here. Yep. There it is. There's one. And two. Where's that? It's above a red robot near an authorized personnel only. A red robot. Hey, hey, you got a dollar? Nope. A red robot. Which one? Two. It's got to be hidden in the gears or something. Seems like there's one right there. not letting me pick it up. Oh, I can crouch. Okay, sweet. There's totally one behind this. I just have to move it. Yep, there's, there's the third. Above a red wall? Wait, what? Hang on. Black all over the- Oh, okay, okay. It's a person's face. 
on the side of a building near a red brick wall and there's a window. Okay. Over there. Can I investigate this place? I feel like there's stuff I could pick up or something. No? Can't look at things? Oh, there's a dead android. Oh! Whoa! Game almost went crashy crashy. So there's one. Wait. Find a way to reach the roof? That's a shark. I gotta find a way to reach the roof. That over here. No? Okay. Is there explosive barrels and stuff? Can I move this? I can. Okay. Climb up. Is there one behind me? No? Two symbols. Am I missing one? I gotta be missing one. Can't go that way. It has that one distinguished. Which is right here. Oh! Holy shit! I did not see that one. Sparkle? Oh boy. Use the right stick to select a route. Let's execute that. Nice. Okay. So I need to find Sparkle. Looks like it's over there. Sparkle!
Here's the second one. Third. Now we're inside a building. So we gotta get in there somehow. Okay. Uh, would not be solid enough. Let's try that one. And then jump. And then fall. So, while we're up here... So can I change my direction? And go that way? Okay. Would be too high. Go that way. And then there's a spot under there. Okay, let's do that. This is really neat. Climb over there, up, on top of that, jump, grab that, climb up, and boom. Nice. So it's inside this building. It does not show where the symbol is. So this is it. Oh, I see. I see. It's right here. Gotcha. Oh. So it's in here, probably. Crouch under. Okay. I go up here, I guess. There's Jericho. Found Jericho. Now what is Jericho is the question. Is it a boat? It must be a boat. Oh, it sounds like it's gonna snap. This is such a cool shot. Oh man. Jump!
Why? Oh, there's water underneath. Okay. Oh, climb. Our jacket came off. Oh, wrong button. I hit R2. Explore the boat. Find a way to see. Pick up. Is that a flashlight? Nice. Okay. Hello? Is anyone in the abandoned boat? Sounds like someone is. What's that? Oh, okay. Is this open? It is. Someone's crawling around on the boat, too. Nothing in there. That's locked. Is there anything back here? No? It's a little eerie. It's the other way. Destruction. Okay. Guess we only have to go this way. <laughs> oh! Oh. Okay. Since when has Quantic Dream started doing horror scenes? And why'd you come from here? Whoa! It's fine, we can still go through it. A giant dark room, my favorite. Oh, there's some stairs. Oh, this sounds safe. What? Oh, I told you it sounds safe! Oh no. Ow. Well, at least we're not really alive. Oh, hi. Hello? Welcome to Jericho. Oh. Found Jericho! And that dude, I believe, was the same dude that um, was shot at the top of the building. Daniel. I believe that was Daniel. Okay, so we didn't miss too many on this one. One, two, three, four, five. Only missed five. Not, not too bad. Hmm. Well... I think next time we're going to continue and I don't know if next time we'll meet the people at Jericho, but hey, we found Jericho. So uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned next time for more of Detroit Become Human. So take care, everyone, and bye-bye.